Hey everybody, Mike Burks here. I want to thank everybody who's been supporting me with the videos that I've been putting up. I want to put one up a little early tonight. Uh, tonight we're going to talk back about what I spoke about when the first video, which is your three types of mentors. Uh, your first type of mentor will be the direct mentor. This is someone who's in front of you at all times who can show you what they did. Um, if you don't have one of those, I suggest you go out and get five new friends who will be your mentor, five people. Um, Jim Rohn spoke about you are the direct result of the five people you hang around. Um, if you're hanging out with people who are not doing nothing, have no drive, they are not trying to be successful in life, you will be the sixth person in that group uh, to mimic what they're doing. But if you have five people in your life who are driven, successful, and I'm on the same path that you're trying to go on, you will become that sixth person then definitely. So, um, definitely direct mentors, five of them. Uh, next is an indirect mentor. A lot of you people don't understand this, but books, audio tapes, um, audio books, uh, magazines, whatever you get on professional development, that is an indirect mentor. And if you're following someone on Twitter who's doing something that you want to do or following someone on Facebook that's doing what you want to do, that person as well is an indirect mentor. So that is a great thing to have. Um, I suggest you find two or three people on Facebook, maybe two or three people on Twitter, and find you some books to read um, that can benefit you. In my library, I have a few. Um, Jim Collins, Good to Great, um, his first one, which was uh, Great great by Choice. Um, the, in, the 21 in, Inrefutable, sorry, Inrefutable Laws of Leadership, uh, Make Winning a Habit. Uh, who moved my cheese? The list goes on and on. These are things that I, I refer back to for my own personal success. So definitely indirect mentors are great for you, great for personal development. Uh, so books, movies, uh, audio tapes, fill up your library. And the last one, everything is a mentor. Now this, my people, is something that you may not understand now, but... Um, I'll give you a short story about me. Um, I love the movie so The Social Network. It teaches me a lot, it shows me a lot, and it gives me momentum in my brain to get up and do something. Just the one scene when he leaves the girl and goes back to his dorm room, and the first thing he does is started, starts blogging, he builds a website, and he's drinking all at the same time. This is absolutely amazing to me because for him to do three things at once, uh, that takes so much, uh, so much time, so much uh, energy, so much concentration, especially when you're building a website from code. Uh, it absolutely amazes me, and I want to be able to do three things and multitask, uh, multiple projects, big projects like that at the same time. So um, definitely get find you some uh, some inspiration in little things that you see on a day to day basis. Uh, even if it's looking at your own children and looking at them. And that thinking one day they're going to need you to pay that college tuition. They're going to need you to, to help them with that apartment. They're going to need to help you with their car. You know, do you want to be like, uh, let me see if I can do that. Or would you like to smile, write that check for them without a doubt in your mind that it's in your, uh, in your funds. So, um, that's it tonight, people. Um, I want to leave you with a short story. Uh, during the Renaissance period, a network of friends who happened to be artists uh, at the time, they band together and started a move it, movement. Uh, during this uh, time, they established themselves as experts in the arts, paint, and sculpture fields. And they, <clears throat> they may have been, uh, there may have been other people that were better than them and smarter than them, but because they put themselves in, in front of everyone, because they was the first to establish this reputation as being an expert, they are now part of history. I'm speaking of people like Michelangelo. Uh, I'm speaking of uh, Raphael and, and the, 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 the people who put together the Renaissance movement, the sculptures, the, the painters. These people who you know in the history books, there were other artists that were better than them. But because they took a chance, band together, started a movement, and put themselves as the expert, they are now known in history. So, lastly, what are you going to do to make history? I'm Mike Burks. Till tomorrow night, signing out.